In this video, we're going to complete example one. We're going to solve the following pairs of simultaneous equations using the substitution method. And we're also going to check our solution using the program Desmos. Starting with question A, we have two equations. We have y equals x plus 2. And our second equation, y equals negative 2x minus 1. One thing we'll notice where it says y equals x plus 2, that tells us that y and x plus 2 are basically the same or equal to each other. So why is that important? Well, if in our first equation x plus 2 is equal to y, then it must also equal y in the second equation. So we're going to substitute x plus 2 in place of y in the second equation. That will give us x plus 2 in place of y on the left, and we keep the right side as negative 2x minus 1. We've now got an equation with only one variable, the variable being x, and we can now solve it. We're going to start by adding 2x to both sides. This will get rid of the negative 2x on the right. And x plus 2x is 3x. So we get 3x plus 2 equals negative 1. We will now subtract 2 on both sides because this gets rid of the plus 2 on the left. This will give us 3x equals, and negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. We'll write that again up higher. Now what we need to do is divide both sides by 3, which will get rid of the 3 next to the x. And negative 3 divide 3 is negative 1. So x equals negative 1. Now a lot of people, they make the mistake of stopping, they think they've solve the question but they haven't because we've found x but we haven't yet found y so how do we find y well we just pick either equation i usually pick the easier one which is the one at the top y equals x plus 2 and we're going to substitute our x value of negative 1 in place of x because x equals negative 1. This will give us y equals negative 1 plus 2 or y equals 1. So we found our x value and we found our y value and we could stop there but quite often questions ask us to find the point of intersection. If they do that this is what you say point of intersection is bracket now our x value is negative 1 so that goes first and our y value is positive 1 that goes second let's check this using Desmos we had two equations we had y equals x plus 2 and we had negative 2x minus 1 as our second equation Now you'll notice once we draw our two graphs that Desmos will give you a point of intersection, which is the same as what we had, negative 1, comma, 1. Alright, let's now move on to question B. Once again, we have two equations, and the reason for this is because we have two variables. There's no way you can solve an equation with two variables unless you have two of them. We have y equals x plus 7, and 2x plus y equals 10. We can see that y equals x plus 7, meaning that they are the same, they are interchangeable. And because we have a y in the second equation, we can substitute x plus 7 in place of y. This will give us 2x plus and in place of y, x plus 7 equals 10. We can simplify this because 2x plus x is 3x. 
now we have 3x plus 7 equals 10. Notice that we only have one variable. We only have the variable x, so it's solvable. If we minus 7 on both sides, it will cancel out the 7 on the left, giving us 3x equals 3. And with our equation, we can divide both sides by 3, giving us x equals 1. Remembering that once you've found x, you need to find y. And that's the easy part. We just pick either equation. We'll pick y equals x plus 7 because it's the easy, easier equation. And because we know what x is, x is 1, we can just substitute it in place of x, giving us y equals 1 plus 7, so y equals 8. And from this, we can get our point of intersection. If the question was to ask this, it would be our x value of 1 and our y value of 8. Once again, we can check this on Desmos. Our equations were y equals x plus 7. And uh, 2x plus y equals 10. And when we check our point of intersection, it's 1,8, which is the same as what we had. All right, we have questions C and D to carry on with now. So if we look at question C, we have two equations. We have x equals y minus 1. And for the second equation, we have 2x plus y equals 4. So this time we can see that x equals y minus 1, meaning they're interchangeable. So we're going to substitute y minus 1 in place of x in the second equation. Now you might notice something a little different here and that is that this time our pronumal x has a coefficient next to it or a number to the left of it. So what do we do in this situation? Well we need to think what does that mean? What does 2x mean? Well 2x is the same as saying 2 times x. Now we said before that x is the same as y minus 1. So if we're going to substitute y minus 1 in place of x, it's actually really important that we put the y minus 1 in brackets. And the reason for this is because we've got to do 2 times the whole expression y minus 1. So down here for 2x, we're going to write 2 bracket y minus 1 and close the bracket. Really important that you do that. And then we write the rest down plus y and equals 4. So what do we do when we have brackets? Well we need to expand them. 2 times y is 2y, 2 times 1 is 2, put the minus down and then copy the rest down plus y equals 4. Looking at our equation, we can add 2y to y. 2y plus y is 3y, giving us 3y minus the 2 equals 4. And then we can add 2 to both sides, cancelling the minus 2 on the left. 3y now equals 6, and we can divide both sides by 3 to cancel the 3 on the left. Y equals 2. Alright, now that we've got y, it's really easy to find x. We're going to pick the easier equation. We'll pick x equals y minus 1. And since y equals 2, we can substitute this in place of y. x equals 2 minus 1, so x just equals 1. So if we were to find our point of intersection, we would go, we have an x value of 1 and a y value of 2. Let's check this on Desmos. 
our first equation x equals y minus 1 and our second equation was 2x plus y equals 4. And our point of intersection is 1 comma 2. We're now going to move on to question D. We have two equations. We have 2x plus y equals 5 and we have 3x minus y equals 2.5. And when we look at this one, we can see an issue straight away because there's no real obvious way to do our substitution. And the reason for this is because we don't have an equation that says y equals something or x equals something. We're going to fix that by doing some rearranging. I'm just going to do it with the first equation. I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides. This will get rid of the 2x on the left, which leaves y on its own to the left. And then on the right, I will have 5 minus 2x. And this has worked really well because it's given me an equation where either y or x equals something. So in this case, y equals 5 minus 2x. And this can be substituted in place of the y in the second equation. Now, some people don't notice this, but we're faced with a little bit of an issue this time. And the issue here is this minus here. And this is where a lot of people start making mistakes. So when we replace y with 5 minus 2x, just like in question C, we're going to put it in brackets. So we're going to go 3x minus, and y is 5 minus 2x, really important that we put it in brackets this time, and we'll write equals 2.5. And the reason it's important that we put it in brackets is we're subtracting y. We've got to subtract the whole expression of y, which in this case is 5 minus 2x. If it wasn't in brackets, we would have been subtracting 5. We need to subtract the whole expression, the whole of 5 minus 2x. So what do we do in this situation? Well, I recommend when you've got a minus sign to the left of the brackets to put a little number one here, okay? And then we're going to multiply negative one by five and negative one by negative two x. And the rest just gets copied down. So the three x gets copied down. Negative one times five is negative five. And negative one times negative two x is actually positive 2x. And this is where a lot of people start making mistakes. Notice that the minus 2x becomes a plus 2x. It equals 2.5. I can see that 3x plus 2x goes together. That makes 5x. So we get 5x minus the 5 equals 2.5 and now we can add 5 to both sides so that we can cancel the minus 5. So 5x on the left and 7.5 on the right. We can divide both sides by 5, cancelling the 5 next to the x and x will equal 1.5 when we divide this out. All right, now that we know x, we need to pick another equation to find y. Both of them are not very nice, to be honest. But I'm going to let you know that the equation we made here, y equals 5 minus 2x, is a valid equation to use, and it's easier than the other two. So I'm going to use that one. y equals 5 minus 2x. And we know what x is. x is 1.5, so minus 2 lots of 1.5. And that will actually give us 5 minus 3, or y equals 2. Therefore, our point of intersection will have to be an x value of 1.5 and a y value of 2. And we're going to check that on Desmos once again. 
2x plus y equals 5. And we had 3x minus y equals 2.5. 3x minus y equals 2.5. And our point of intersection is 1.5 comma 2, which is the same as what we had. Anyway, that concludes our video on example 1. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.